Hey guys, happy Friday. We are live from my living room today. I'm hoping that's exactly where you are, so we're all working together to flatten the curve. I wanted to give us something to focus on while we're doing our work together today, and that comes from our C2020 campaign where we are talking about what is greater than. And today we're going to think about the fact that self-care is greater than stress. I don't know about you, but this whole situation has created a lot of stress in my life. And I'm really hopeful that us all working together and coming together virtually brings self-care in and sends some stress out. So let's go ahead and get started. We put on the email that if you have them, we're going to use some furniture sliders. If you don't have those, just grab a couple washcloths that are dry or some paper plates, and those will work fine too. I'll also be giving you options what to do if you don't have any of those handy. All right? So let's get started. Here we go. We're going to get onto your mat. And we are going to take our knees four inches apart parallel, hands are shoulder width distance. We're going to warm up the spine. We've all been doing probably a lot more sedentary lifestyle than we're used to. So we're just going to go into a cat cow, just a real simple stretch. Exhaling as we round, find lots of length in the spine, even as we curl. Inhale as we unwind and gaze forward, lots of length and breath. Exhale as we unwind. Keep doing a few more of those. If you want to ramp it up, flip your toes under and do that while your knees are off of the floor. Inhale to gaze forward. Exhale to round. So you'll find a lot more aggressive version of the stretch if your knees are up. It's entirely up to you which version you choose. One more arc, gazing forward and unwind. Okay, let's go into a plank. Hands are wide at the top of your mat. Step your feet back four inches apart parallel. Again, from here guys, we're gonna sink into a downward facing dog, stretching through the back body. That's an inhale. Exhale as you bring it forward into your plank. You can keep doing that, or if you have your furniture sliders, step off of your mat, and we're basically gonna mimic an upstretch that we would do on the window chair. Here we go. Use those sliders. Exhale to bring it in. Inhale to send it out. If you don't have the sliders, you can do the downward dog to the plank on your mat. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, slide it out. Let's do a few more here. You can always hold a plank if it gets aggressive or do just a baby lift rather than a full range of movement. You can do a smassive or do just a baby lift rather than a full range of movement. You can do a small pike up, a small up stretch, and then go back. Let's do one more. And bring it all the way down. Both knees come down, whether you're on your mat or on the sliders. All right, guys, from here, we're going to go into our right knee is bent, and we're going to lift off of the right hip. So now we're in a side plank position. We're going to float the left leg up off of the mat, sweep it forward, that's an inhale. Exhale as you bring it back. Inhale, think about the thigh bone sinking in as the leg reaches long. Exhale, bring it back. Keeping the ribs from collapsing and hanging down. So as we work, we don't wanna allow ourselves to kind of hang down like this. You wanna find that beautiful side plank orientation, okay? Crease at the front of the hip to send it forward on an inhale and lengthen back. Let's change the orientation of the leg. What we're going to do is spin the inner thigh forward. Toes will come up. The hips didn't change. Same thing. Leg sweeps forward on an inhale. Exhale, bring it back. Extra cardio challenge. Arm can go up and out. Inhale as you lengthen back. Good. Just a few more here, making sure we're lifting off the ribs and the shoulder. Last two. This is the last one, and we're gonna return the hip down to the floor. All right, let's go into some roll downs, warming up the spine and firing up the core. We're gonna sit as tall as we can on our sitting bones, sit in an L shape if you can, bend bones, sit in an L shape if you can, bend the tailbone melts under, then the low back, then the middle to rise. Think about maintaining length on the front body, even as
as we lower and raise. So you can think about what we do on the machine as if your hands were in the straps or the loops and racing the back of our machine. It's the same idea. We just don't have your feet down or slide them under a sofa. Let's do one more up into a teaser position. From here, we are going to invite that leg back down with the psoas and hamstrings back of the leg. Here we go, left side. The waistline picks up the leg and then float it back down. Right side again. And float it back down. Left side again. And float it back down. Left side again. Float it back down. Here's the challenge. If you're looking for extra challenge, both legs come up, or you can continue with one leg at a time. Both legs go down. Here we go. Four more like that. One leg at a time or two. It's up to you. Lots of length on the body. We're going to do some standing work. Come up here. This is your last one. Hold and breathe. Eight, seven. Magnetize those outer thighs together. Lengthen the front body for four. Three, two, and with control, legs and arms go down. All right, guys, we're just going to need one furniture slider for this next one. And we're going to go into a standing sequence. Right foot is on the mat, and left foot is off the mat on your furniture slider, starting with a lunge. So we have our shoulders and our hips shining forward. We have our knees aligned with the big toe, second toe, and we're starting with two straight legs. Exhale, we're going to bow forward, scissoring the upper inner thighs apart. Let's hold on the first one. Check that your right knee is in front of the ankle crease and aligned with big toe, second toe. Check that your ribs are in line with your pelvis. So the temptation is going to be to want to kind of poke the ribs out a little bit like this. We want to think about softening everything, drawing up and in on both sides. Here we go. Inhale, scissor to draw it all the way up and in. Now we're going out into a skater. Right knee bends, left leg glides out to the side just behind you. That's an inhale as we rise, and it's an exhale as we lower. Let's go into the lunge. Exhale as we lower, we're gonna alternate. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale as we lower, now we're going into that skater. Inhale, ribs come off of the pelvis to pick you up. Let's add the arms. Exhale, both arms come up and overhead. Melt the shoulder blades down. Inhale to rise again. Exhale. Checking in with that right knee that it's staying aligned. Big toe, second toe. Arms plug into the middle back as they raise up. Let's do one more lunge and one more skater, and then we've got a different little variation coming your way. Come to the top of your lunge. We're going to lower down. We're going to hold halfway. If the arms are aggressive, bring them out to the sides, and we're going to do a carriage pull. Exhale to draw the leg forward. Inhale as you bring it out. You choose, guys, if the arms are down or up. Think about as little weight on the furniture slider, on the left foot as possible. You'll feel the core fire up in a significant way if you don't load your weight into that slider. Equal weight across the sole of the right foot. Extra challenge, arms come up alongside the ears. Let's do three more like this. Here we go, this is going to be our last Carriage fall, just like we do if we were doing a wound deformer lunge on our machine. Bring it in and come all the way to stand. All right, we're going to go into a little kneeling push up. If you don't have furniture slider, don't worry about it. If you do, we're going to be half on the mat and half off. Right now, my right hand is on the mat and my left hand is just off the mat. The heel of the hand, not just the fingers, are on the slider. I'm going to come into a modified plank position. Knees are down, arms are long. I'm going to bend the right arm, the one on the mat, as the left arm goes outbound. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale as you bring it up. Exhale to lower down. Right elbow bends just a little bit. Inhale, bring it up. If that's obnoxious, no slider. Just have two hands on the mat. Lower down. 
and raise up. Pay attention to your body and your shoulders. If it's not for you today, it's not for you. Send breath in between the shoulder blades. Think about the navel drawing up and in. Last two. Left arm is long the whole time. We're gonna go on to our backs. And the last one. All right, go ahead and take that furniture slider. We're gonna take it towards the other end of the mat. We're gonna lay on our backs for a quick moment here. Lay at the base of the skull. You should see your elbows from the corners of your eyes. Find a neutral pelvis. Make sure you're not mashing your low back into the mat. In my body, there's actually visible space there. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna lengthen and do a super shallow curl. Lengthen and reach. I shook it, I, I shook it, I see this, it's flat. I'm shaking on the first one. Inhale is lengthen and reach. Thinking about the base of your shoulder blades coming up. Exhale as you come down. Notice that there are no wrinkles being added on the front side of my shirt as I raise and lower. Keep that as long as possible. Let's add a rotation. This time as we peel up, the left shoulder blade comes all the way off the mat. And then back down. And let's go ahead and send the right shoulder blade all the way off the mat. And send it back down. If this is a good challenge for you, stay here. If you are looking for more, we can mimic what we do on that jump board. So hold your head down for one quick second, bring the legs into a tabletop position, and as you come up in the rotation, the legs reach long, just like we're in flight jumping with the rotation. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, rotate, we're in flight. Visualize yourself on the machine. Find the resistance under your feet. Exhale to land. Inhale to rotate. So if you're familiar with the jump board, even if you are not close to a one of our studio, this is the same idea. We're doing a little rotation with a neutral pelvis, legs extending, increasing the challenge for the core. Inhale as you rotate and lengthen. Exhale, bring it back. Holding the pelvis quiet, keeping the spine long. We're gonna do one more each side. So here we go, left shoulder blade comes up. Back through center, last time. Right shoulder blade comes up. Back through center, head goes down with control. Don't just let them flop. With control, legs lower all the way down. All right guys, we're gonna go into a modified bridge here. So elbows are down. I'm gonna get myself so that I have one elbow on the floor, right elbows on the floor and right foot. The heel of the foot is on that furniture side. Here we go. Two long legs. So if you're remembering this either from our on-demand workouts or in class like a long bridge, what we're going to do is keep the legs long, elbows bent, and we're going to float the hips up and off the floor. Okay. Right leg only glides up to the side. Left leg and pelvis stay quiet. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, glide up to the side. And exhale back to center. Not here for a long time. Keep your head in line with your spine. So you should probably be looking up at the sky or your ceiling. But definitely not near anyone because we're social distancing. So don't get anywhere close to any machines. Inhale. This is going to be last two. Holding that left side steady is almost more work than moving that slider. Bring it back in and set the pelvis down. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get that standing sequence done on the other side. So what we're gonna do is have the slider on the floor. We're gonna stand with our left foot on the mat. Hands are on our hips to start with. Feet are four inches apart parallel. So this is set up just like a wound former lunge if you come to class with me on Fridays. This is what we're after. We're gonna exhale as we keep the right leg long, left knee bends. Scissoring into a lunge, bowing forward with the torso, pelvis is level. Inhale, ribs lift off of the hips, hips lift off of the legs to rise. Get your breath at the party. You're going to get better results and you're going to clear out toxins from your lungs. Inhale as you rise. This time we're going into a skater. Exhale as you lower down. Right leg reaches long. Inhale, bring it up. 
Try not to let the pelvis get all wonky on you. Keep both hip bones shining. Straight forward. Every time the left leg bends, think about stretching the knee far, far, far away from the hip. It's going to help you level out that pelvis. So if you can stretch that thigh bone every time you bend your left knee. Exhale as we scissor down. Arms are always an option. Inhale as we bring it up. Try to keep light weight in that right foot on that furniture slider. Inhale to rise. Exhale to lower. Just a few more here, guys. If you don't have the slider, you can do a, just a standing lunge down and up. Out to the side last time. And we're going to go about halfway back into that lunge. Arms can come up or up to the sides. Holding with that lunge. Exhale, soften the right knee and draw it in. Inhale as you send it back. If you don't have a slider, you can just do a lower and a raise like this. So do what works for you today and with the props that you have in your home. Exhale as you draw forward. Inhale, send it back. Plug the arms into the middle back. Nice, you guys. Here we go. Just a few more here. Stay with me. For those of you who are normally in my Friday class, I'm sure this is fun watching me suffer instead of just talk. I bet it's a lot of fun. And this is the last one. Bring it all the way in. Okay, let's get that push-up handled on the other side. So again, if it's aggressive to either shoulder or your body, two hands stay on the mat. You have a furniture slide and you want to try it. Heel of the right hand goes onto the furniture slider. Left hand goes flat on the mat. We're going to come onto our knees into a modified plank position here. Get your left body in alignment. Try not to let your teeth stick up. All right, here we go. Exhale, left elbow bends, right elbow or right arm slides up. Inhale, come up. It is irrelevant how far you travel. It is much more important that you keep the middle back engaged, the core really active. Inhale to lift, fill your middle back with breath. Exhale as you lower. Try not to twist or rotate the ribs at all. Try not to twist or rotate the shoulders or the hips at all. Two more like this, guys. I know these are tough. Last one. And bring it all the way in. Okay. Let's go into some upper body jumps. So this is like we would do on the jump board, seated upright. So we come all the way to the floor and all the way up. So elbows can come down. If you can't quite get all the way into this crouch position, just start a little bit higher orientation. Elbows are down, knees are bent, and we're gonna rise up in a flat back, arms come long. This is an inhale. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down. Let's add the rotations. Inhale, come up. Exhaling down. Inhale, rotate. Arms reaching at opposing diagonals. Brace. Head is in line with the spine, so the head rotates with the ribs. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower down. Think about the sitting bones broadening on the way down and narrowing on the way up. Exhale, sitting bones broaden. Inhale, up, down, now. Exhaling down. Inhale, arms go out rather than up. Inhale, arms rest. Exhale, down. Working on that cardio fitness. Exhaling down, guys. Inhaling to rise. You don't have to get all the way down with your hips to your heels. If that's not comfortable in your body, you can do it a little bit higher like this. You can always double over your mat if you have sensitive knees. Last one to the right. And last one to the left. Bring it all the way in. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and go into that side line position. Left forearm is down. Left knee is bent. We're going to pick up the hips. So now we're in a little side bridge position. Float the right leg up. Plug it in. Inhale as the leg sweeps forward. Exhale as you sweep it back. It's not a great big range of movement. We want the pelvis to stay quiet. So we don't want the toes to kick our nose. That's not the goal. 
We're creasing deeply at the front side of the hip as the thigh bone comes in on an inhale. Exhale, bring it back. Check that your head is in line with your spine. Change into external rotation. Send the leg out. Hold. Inner thigh spins forward. Toes rise up. If you want the extra challenge, arm, arm can come up. Exhale forward for this one. Inhale, leg goes long. In my body, I just started shaking like crazy. You'll feel the abs holding the leg out over space. So just give the tiny, tiny bend. You might not even see it. You just want to feel that connection in your body. Here we go. Two more. Last one. And bring the leg all the way down. Good. Let's roll up the shoulders just for a quick second. We're going to go into that modified bridge with the slider. I have a slider or paper plate with me today. Left heel goes onto the slider. Right foot is in turnout, so they're meeting on my mat like this in a um, first position, body's first. We're going to pick up the hips. Collarbones are wide. There we go, guys. Inhale. Left leg goes on. Exhale, bring it back to start. Inhale as we sweep up. Exhale, bring it back to start. Not here for long. Not a great big range of movement. It's less about how far the leg travels and more about that standing leg, your right leg, holding things steady. Let's do two more. Lift off of the elbows and the shoulders. And bring the hips all the way down. Let's go into a quick bridge set. We don't need the slider. Come all the way onto the mat. Arms come long at your sides. And let's come into a closed parallel position. No light between your knees and toes. Arms actively imprinting into the mat to get the middle back. Glutes lifting up the hips. So we're going to come up into our best bridge position. From here, peel your right heel up off the floor. Peel your left heel up off the floor just a few inches. And then we're going to set both feet down. Peel the left heel off the floor. Peel the right heel up. And both feet come back down. You can continue with that pattern. One heel, then the next. And they both go down. Or you can alternate a little bit of a march. Keeping your body up, marching. One heel down, passing in space, then the other. Additional challenge to focus through the hamstrings and the glutes. You can float the arms up. It's going to give you less support via the arms and more connection to the core if you can come down with your tailbone. So you don't want to allow those ribs to pop out. You want to make sure that you have everything drawn real close to the spine. Magnetize those outer thighs. Don't let your knees go squirrely out to the sides. Last three. Last two. Both heels up and hold. Right arm up to the sky and right arm down. Both heels up, left arm up to the sky, and left arm down. Right arm up, left arm up, hold and breathe. Think about your glutes lifting up your hips for five, for four, for three, two, don't go anywhere. Right arm goes down, left arm goes down, right heel goes down, left heel goes down, pull. Melt from behind your heart first, find lots of length in the body as we slowly set the spaces between the vertebra down. Slowly lowering down and unwind. All right, guys, let's get both furniture sliders if we can. If you have them, we're going to get them close together off of the mat, give yourself some space. If you don't have sliders, I'm going to show you what to do first. And this is a less aggressive version of the exercise. We're going to down those feet. Hands are wide on the mat. Step your feet back, close parallel position. Exhale, shift your weight back, bend your knees and swivel the hips. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, back to the other side. So it's a weight shift with a knee bend, but don't pop your booty up and down. Some of you might already be on those furniture sliders. You know what's coming next. Feet are close together on those sliders. Hands are on the floor. And we're going to step the balls of our feet onto those sliders. Here we go. Keep those knees magnetized. Exhale, draw the sliders in. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, draw it in. Try to keep a flat back on the mat or the sliders.
One more each side. These are awful for me too, guys. If they're awful for you, I'm right there with you. Last one. And bring it all the way in. All right, you guys. Let's go into one last sequence. We're going to go into a crisscross. That's my favorite. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to lay on our backs all the way down. Hands interlace underneath the base of the skull again. Feeling your head up like your body is a hammock. And the right leg reaches long. So instead of the elbow jamming to the knee, that's a no-go. We're going to leave lots of space, lots of length, and it gives us better results and more work. Exhale as you rotate. Inhale, switch through center. Exhale, other side. So you do this on the jump board, guys, in class. So it's the same idea. Inhale, leg long. Exhale, center. Like we land. Inhale, rotate, other side. Let's pick up the pace. Make it count, guys. This is the last thing. We stretch next. Lots of space between the knee and the elbow. Do not jam those joints together. Think about the shoulder blade peeling up. Think about your muscles getting closer to your spine, not crowding on the front of the body. Inhale for length. Shoulder blade peels up. Keep it working, guys. Keep the pelvis quiet. Last one to the right. Last one to the left. Bring it through center. With control, head goes down. With control, keep it up. All right, guys, we made it. Let's go into a little camel, modified camel stretch. This is really nice for the spine. I'm going to show it to you with my back to you so you can see where we're going, all right? So we're going to have our knees four inches apart parallel. And we're going to take our right hand. You can place your hand on your hip or on your thigh. Or for the deepest stretch, pay attention to your body, it can go onto your heel. Open your body to the side at a diagonal. I like to open my heart towards the sky. And then back to the side. Inhale to open. Exhale back. And then back to the side. Inhale to open. Exhale back to the side last time. Same breath to all sides of the spine. Slowly rise up. We're going to come into a child's pose with our sliders if you have them. And we're going to use it similar to how we use the carriage sometimes to stretch out on the rear platform. So we're going to take our knees nice and wide like a child's pose. Arms come long. Heels and hands are on the sliders. And we're going to exhale as we round the spine and glide up, lift off of the heels. Inhale, gaze forward. I'm going to show up for Inhale as you glide forward. So it's like our hands are on the head bar of the carriage, if you're familiar with this exercise in the studio. Let's go ahead and sweep the hands to the left, stretching through the side body, mobilizing the spine. Exhale as you round. Inhale, come forward. One more time this side. And exhale around. Inhale, come forward. Sweep the hands to the right. Hands are now to the right. Stretching through the left side body. Exhale to round up. Inhale. Last time on this side. Then you're going to that camel stretch. Other side. Inhale as you come forward. I'm going to show the camel stretch from the side this time. These are four inches apart parallel. Pay attention to your body. Left hand can go on your hip, on your thigh, or for the most intense variation, all the way on the heel. Right arm comes over, start in the diagonal. Think about that bridge. Think about glutes pressing the pelvis forward. And we're going to inhale, gaze towards the side. Exhale, tuck in one. Inhale, bring it forward. And slowly rise up. You guys, that was awesome. <laughs> I hope you had a great time. I had an awesome time and I ended up kicking my own booty with you. So we're doing this again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time and 9 a.m. on Sunday Pacific time. We might go into my yard. Who knows? It might be sunny and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for being here, guys. Happy Friday. Yeah.